Hey guys, Jeff Fry here, former Major League Baseball player. Today I want to talk to you guys about middle infielders receiving the throw from the catcher or the pitcher. There is a way to do this, a proper way to do this. I was taught this by Perry Hill, widely regarded as the best, the number one infield coach in Major League Baseball. If it wasn't for Perry, I never would have made it. You know, I listened to everything he said and I tried to do exactly the way he taught me to do it and I was fortunate enough to play for 15 years. So as a middle infielder, there's a couple things that are that, that you need to know. Okay, you need to get to the base on time. You don't want to be late to the base. Okay, you, you, you can't be late to the base ever. You have to get there on time and you have to make sure you're in position when the throw gets there to put the tag down. Okay, you don't want to be on the run trying to get there and get around the base. As a second baseman, I got to come all the way from this side of the field around the base. Okay because the proper position to receive a throw on, on a stolen base attempt or a pickoff attempt from the pitcher is to straddle the base. Straddle the base and wait for the ball. Get your knees bent, your glove out, okay? And wait for the ball. As soon as you catch that ball, you are putting your glove straight down as quick as you can. And as soon as the guy touches your glove, the base dealer, you're lifting it up, okay? Now, if I was gonna try and pick a guy off from second base, I'd come this way. Okay, and straddle the base and catch the throw and put it down right in front of the base and hopefully tag his hand or his foot for a pickoff. From the shortstop position, you're coming on this side for a stolen base attempt uh, or a pickoff. Okay, so you're gonna straddle the base, get your glove out, knees bent. As soon as you catch that ball, straight down, straight up. As soon as that guy's, the base dealer's foot touches your glove, you're coming up as quick as you can. You catch it just like that, okay? No swipe, no swipe. Some guys like to do the swipe. Uh, I would not do that because you might swipe before the guy's foot gets there and now he slides right into the base. Catch the ball, leave your glove there till he gets there, out. Okay, if it's bang, bang, you just wanna get in there as quick as you can, up and down, that's what I'm talking about. That's what Perry Hill would say, okay? Um, a throw from the uh, pickoff from the pitcher, the shortstop has to come over. Now he has to go all the way around and straddle the base and catch a throw straight down. Okay, sometimes when, it, when somebody's still in the base, um, well, a lot of times the throw's not perfect, especially amateur level, the throw's not gonna be perfect. Okay, you, you have to anticipate a bad throw. Now if that throw's bad and it's taking you up the baseline, it's tailing into the baseline, you leave your spot, you come up front, catch it, and then try to tag the guy as he goes by. Okay, if it's on this side of the, if it's over here and I can try to pick it backhand, quick as I can, okay? Quick as you can, up and down, okay? Now if the throw is in front and, and you're not sure, it seems like the guy's got the base stolen, come off the base, square up to the ball. It hurts sometimes. Trust me, when Pudge threw 195 and he had to come off that base and take it in the chest or whatever, not many of his throws were bad, but occasionally um, you had to come off the base and get in front of the ball to keep it from going into center field. You can't allow that base dealer to get all the way to third. You know how much easier it is to score from third base and second, okay? So second baseman, bust your butt over here, around the base, straddle, up and down. Short stops, bust your butt over here, get here early, better early than late, get here early, up and down. Pickoffs, second baseman's coming in this way, up and down. Show the umpire the ball, and hopefully he calls him out, okay? So that's receiving a throw from the catcher or first baseman as a middle infielder. Remember, get there early. Your tag is up and down real quick. No swipe. Come off the base. Get in front of the base. If you, if you know um, the ball's going to bounce, you're not going to have a play to keep that ball in the infield. and Don't allow that runner to advance the third base, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day. She goes.